Okay everyone, here we can see I just have the homebrew channel installed. So our next step is to take the files I uploaded on my Dropbox and copy them all to your 32 gigabyte SD drive. Uh, try to get the fastest uh, SD card you can. Uh, 32 gigabyte. Uh, I, I usually get a class 10 U3 so uh, you can also use this one uh, which is what I'm going to build it on. This is a 32 gigabyte Lexar and that's a, a U1 so I usually use a U3 but this is a U1. Uh, seems to be fine. Okay so I copied all my files from the Dropbox link to here so I'll just plug this in and then we'll get started. Okay the SD card is plugged in so we're going to go to the homebrew channel and we're going to install a bunch of wads. Okay so all, all these applications will be on your SD card so just go to uh, mod me light and load then we'll go to wad manager Uh, select the SD slot then we'll go master wad pack so I try to compile the best wads uh, I had some tips from some of the guys in the group so thank you for the tips uh, so let's just push the plus on the Wii remote and we'll do a batch install of everything that's in this master wad pack Alright, so we'll, we have everything marked for a batch install, so we'll press A to proceed. We'll, you should install 21 files that are marked for installation. And ensure all of these install correctly. So now what this allows us to do, uh, once, once it's installed, is allow us to safely store all of our settings on an SD card. That's one of the safest options uh, out there. Uh, basically the SD card is permanently mounted so the power is continuously not going on and off and it's less chances for the SD card to get corrupt and for the external hard drive that will just contain your games so your Wii games and your GameCube games that's it that's all that goes on on your uh, external hard drive uh, everything else you need is on the SD so it's safely protected on your SD versus if your hard drive gets corrupt well no big loss you just have to reinstall your games or recopy your games to another external and uh, that should be it so we're getting close to 21 everything looked okay so I'll push any key and that's it uh, basically we're done so um, the only other thing I recommend is installing Preloader, so we'll go to that now. We'll just push the home button. Find Preloader and just install that. Basically this allows us to uh, block some updates and uh, disk updates and make everything region free and various other uh, things. So we'll push A and the plus symbol together and install. Okay the install is done so that's it. Alright so let's exit.
Okay, so let's move some of these channels around. So just push A and B, A and B at the same time, and we'll just drag some of these off the main screen. So this is typically how I arrange things. And then any download of content I usually just place here. In these three columns I'll place Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Game Boy. Uh, USB Loader GX that will run basically anything. I typically use this for uh, for basic GameCube games. N64, WiiWare, and Wii's. Wii Flow, I typically run the lower end stuff on this. However, you can also run everything on that, the higher end and lower end games, but I typically reserve Wii Flow just for Nintendo, arcade games, uh, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega, anything lower. So let's go back to the homebrew and we'll install Super Nintendo, Nintendo and Game Boy. Again everything's on your US on, on your SD card. So we'll install the Nintendo one first. So we'll select the FCE Ultra GX channel installer. Load Next, the Super Nintendo channel installer. And lastly, the Game Boy installer. Okay, so what that did, that placed the three channels on your uh, Nintendo Wii menu, so let's just check. And then I'll give you a quick preview, and then basically you're done. Um, I usually put Game Boy at the bottom, or Nintendo on top, Super Nintendo in the middle. Um, let's just take a quick preview. All your settings should have been pre-configured. Uh, if not, I'll show you where to select that. Okay, yeah, so everything's set up. You're reading all your games off your SD card. Uh, this is just a list-based or text-based uh, games. If you want the pretty cover pictures, you go to Wii Flow, and that has all the cover art, which I painlessly uh, downloaded and uh, renamed and done all that. Your Super Nintendo, again, list-based. Uh, that's all set up. And we'll just do a quick check on the last one, Game Boy. So in Game Boy, you'll see the uh, you'll see two levels here. So in this top one, it'll have Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And if you go back one level, in this one you just have Game Boy Advance. So you have all three. So I typically leave it here, and then I go to whichever system I want to play, basically. I typically don't use these three, but these are your go-to's. If everything else fails, uh, 